of a sudden you see some strange programs running on your system and virus checkers uh, don't find them, here's some steps you can take. So just in case something got installed, we're going to go first going to take a look at the new Windows 10 settings app. We'll go in here and we're going to click on the app section. And it'll start to populate down here depending upon how many apps you have. Now it may take a long time for it to populate until you can scroll down here and try and find what you're looking for. But the easiest thing to do is because you're looking for a recent change, just go back to the top, come over here and change the view from name to install date. And then you'll see the latest items listed here uh, at the top of the list. By the way, you have a filter here. You can check all drives or just that because now programs can be installed anywhere. So you can check individual drives or all the drives together uh, until you find uh, a recent one that you don't recognize or you don't see how the heck did that get installed. And then you can simply click on it to run the uninstall. Now, of course, this list only shows the programs that register themselves with Windows appropriately. Uh, and they show up here in the settings app. It's no different than the old control panel. So just for grins, let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to uh, go down here and type in control panel. And there it is, the old control panel. Let me move it off to the side here. And you know, down here it has programs. And you click on programs and features and down here you'll see the same exact list and there's an install column right there. You click to sort it just like you did in the settings app. Now if you find one you don't recognize you want to get rid of it, uh, depends upon which version you're talking about. In the settings app you can come over here and you can usually click on the button and it'll expose the uninstall button uh, underneath that. I should have mentioned that these two are slightly different. The old control panel only shows the old desktop programs. Apps didn't exist. The other one, the settings app, shows both. So to delete an app or a program, uh, you go over here to the settings app and you click on it and you'll see the uninstall button. In the traditional control panel, you click on an item and you'll see that there's an uninstall button that appears up here or if you right click on it, uh, you'll see the uninstall there. And by the way, the older programs that appear in both, no matter where you delete it from, it'll disappear in both. But what about those programs that don't play nice with Windows and register themselves, and they won't be in those uninstall areas? Well, you probably got warned about not installing and you clicked on it anyways, or it just simply somehow bypassed it all. Well, you can use your file system to find it. Uh, one of the easiest ways to do is take a look at your files and start sorting them by date. Now they're supposed to be installed in certain files on your system. In your operating system, you'll have program files, and you'll have program files 86, one for 64-bit and one for not. Now it depends. You can have programs installed in any one of your drives, so you have to go take a look. But let's go here and we're going to sort by date here as well and see if you see anything installed here uh, recently that uh, you didn't do or you didn't recognize. Sometimes you might download stuff to a download directory and install it from there. Not only will you have the install files here, but maybe it installs itself there as a self-running program. Maybe even put a uh, shortcut on your desktop and run it through there without even registering with Windows. So again, find it, sort it by date, and uh, delete it. Of course, you should only do that if you've already looked for it in the control panel or the settings app and couldn't find it there. And as you can see here, I found a bunch of junk in my uh, older directories. Uh, maybe in a document directory, could be a lot of different places, or a game directory for that matter. One of the places you might see is some sort of program installed that you don't recognize is a plugin to your browser. And these used to be installed as actual applications, and you see them in the control panel, but some are just as extensions. So let's take a look at each one of the browsers. So here we are in, in Google. We're going to go off to the right-hand side here, up to the th three ellipses up in the top, and we're going to find extensions. You notice I have one here. It's a YouTube extension that lets me help control my videos. But you may have several listed here. If you find one that you don't recognize and, this, and that is spurious, uh, you just click on the Remove button to uninstall it. Now I'm going to cover the new edge built on Chromium because uh, the other one's going away. Uh, but here you do the same thing. It's just a little different menu. Click there. There's your extensions. 
come over here and delete it. And the same thing goes to Firefox. I'm at the Google homepage, but I'm in Firefox. Go to the menu over here. You look for add-ons. And there they are. And you'll see here, there's your extensions. If you have any, they'll be listed up here. And you can sim simply delete them from there. So there you have it. Three places you can hunt down and kill some unwanted programs. And just to be sure, where you can go in the three main browsers to find these things. So make sure you use all these methods and good hunting. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.